Hey everybody, Manga Man Chris here, and I am doing my first, um, let's see, what, I don't know really what I'm going to call this series, um, yet at least. You'll see in the title what I eventually called it, but this is going to be my sort of reading log series that I'm going to do it at the end of every month, usually after my, um, monthly haul video goes up. That's how I'm going to schedule them. Um, so... Yeah, so reading log. I'm also going to go over the anime that I watched this month for February. That's right, it's February. So, getting right into it, I think I'll go with what I read first this month, which was Dotoefe Miss Nagatoro, Volume 5. Um, this is one of my like monthly pickups, basically. Pick it up whenever it comes out. Really like this series. Really glad it's getting an anime. It's really funny. It's a, it's a rom-com. I'm a sucker for rom-com. So, yeah. Looking forward to uh, volume 6 coming out, I think, the end of March. Near the end of March. So, yeah. Read this. Really good. I recommend it. Now, what I read next was I read Chainsaw Man volumes 1 and 2. So, with Chainsaw Man, I have 1 through 3. I read these two. Freaking loved it. Volume 2 left off on a cliffhanger. Volume 1 was great at, um, at sort of like world building. That was really good. But um, yeah, I flipped through. You'll, I mentioned it in my, uh, my February haul video. I flipped through Volume 3 just to like look at the art and stuff. Pretty sure I might have spoiled the, a big uh, story element for myself. So I'm going to wait a little bit to read Volume 3 to kind of get that pushed out of my head. So that I, I can enjoy it more as if I had gone into it blind. But yeah. Chainsaw Man is a great series. It's an awesome seinen. I think uh, more seinen than shonen. But um, yeah. It's a great series. Highly recommend it. It's awesome. Next, I read... Volumes, volumes 1 through 3 of the Legends of Zelda Twilight Princess manga. Volume 1. Whoop, dropped it. Your volume one. <clears throat> it's nice black. It's nice black cover. It sticks out on my shelf, which I really like. There is here's volume two. Volume two. The art in this series is really, really good. It's uh, it, the artist who who um, drew it, um, Akira Hamikawa, did a really good job. Um, drawing like the action scenes like the action it's drawn really well it flows from page to page which is really nice here's volume three i have volume four i just haven't read it yet i've been busy this month with a lot of schoolwork. but um moving on here is one punch man volume actually wait that's out of order whoops one punch man volume four i should say uh i I've been picking up more One Punch Man. I really, really like it. Um, a goal of mine is to get um, caught up to where it's currently serializing by uh, by June, because there's 20. Actually, yeah, Volume Three, Volume 23 just got announced. So yeah, I have up to Volume Seven right now. So yeah, I got a little ways to go, <laughs> but um, yeah, I really, really, really enjoy this manga. Here's volume five with Movement Rider, who I think is one of the most underrated characters. Can I just say, the back covers for One Punch Man are always just funny to look at. Like, look at this. This is, this is awesome. Like, not taking itself too seriously. Movement Rider. Movement, yeah, he's one of my favorite characters. Um, Silver Fang, or Master Bang. He's really good, too. In the anime, he's... he's He's a badass. I really like him. And then here is volume six with Putty Putty Prisoner, who is just so weird that it's awesome. Volume six. Yeah, volume six was a good read. Um, yeah, I'm glad I, f I finally have volume seven. Volume seven took a long time to get here. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to reading volume seven. It's the manga that encapsulates it. Encapsulates season two starts off at 
uh, volume 8. So I have all of season 1 in manga form, which is nice. And let's see, what I read most recently was Comey Can't Communicate Volume 11. I read this like two days ago. Really, really good. It's Comey. Can't go wrong with Comey. It's adorable. Uh, funny. And uh, really, really freaking cute. I can't, if I don't say so myself. Yeah. I, I will recommend Comey to anyone and everyone for as long as possible. For as long as this series is running. And even after it stops running. Which hopefully is very far down the line. Because I really, really like this series. Like, and Takai, he's like one of my favorite characters. He's just so funny. Now, light novel wise, I read The Alchemist Who Survived Now Dreams of Quiet City Life, Volume 2. This one took me a little while to read because I was busy. Let's see, yeah, that's the right way around. Here's the back cover. It introduced a lot of new characters. From, that weren't in the first volume, which I would have expected because it's the second volume. The art is fantastic. And something I didn't mention when I first got into the series is the light novels do this cool thing where in the back of the book, they have um, manga that's in color that's supposed to, it's like the manga version of the events that usually happen like at the beginning of the first chapter, which is really cool. So like you can see it's all in color, it's really nice, which is something that this manga does, which is really cool. And then, yeah, because if I flip to the front page, let's see here, might, yeah. See, that's what it says. Okay, there's this manga section in the back. Go read that first, which is really cool. I really, I really think that's a cool aspect of this book. The art is fantastic. And I will say the plot in this volume was a little bit darker in tone than the first volume, which I really enjoyed. It, it, um, it really cemented the kind of this, the stakes that were at stake, if that's the right way to say it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. I'll be picking up volume three soon. These are like 13 bucks a pop though. So they're a little bit, they're a little bit more expensive than a volume of manga, which is usually 10 bucks, sometimes five if you're lucky. So that is all the um, stuff that I read this month. Now I'm going to get into the anime that I watched. First anime I watched was Great Pretender season two. If you haven't seen Great Pretender, the first season, best way I would describe it is Ocean's Eleven, but anime. If you haven't seen Ocean's Eleven, I recommend you watch it because it's a really, really good heist movie. Basically, it follows this band of confidence men, con men, and they con a bunch of very bad people in the first season. And then in the second season, in the, in the first season, it has three arcs that are really, really good. The first arc is fantastic. And the uh, third arc is really satisfying. Um, but the fourth arc is just season two. Season two is just the fourth arc, which is, I think, nine episodes, if I remember right. And um, it's just this, it builds and builds and builds. And the, 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 um, the end scene after the credits end kind of leaves it off as there could be a season three, but there couldn't, there, not could, but there could also not be a season three, which... After watching season two, I'd be like, there's no season three, that's fine. Season two was pretty good. The, but there, if there is a season three, great. Now, the other show that I watched was Devil is a Part-Timer. Now, that this show came out in 2013, I believe, so it's a little bit old, and it's a kind of reverse isekai story. Basically, the devil, Satan, is in this fantasy world and he's losing this massive battle and he escapes through a portal that leads him to modern Japan. And it's basically him having to um, get used to living in normal society. And he gets a job at McRonald's, which is a ripoff of McDonald's, if you couldn't tell. And it's just, it's really funny. The characters are wacky, but there's also, um, there's also serious tones in it, like 
the funny the funny parts of the arcs are funny but the more serious parts of the arc are serious and they're really well written and in the animated really well animated um yeah so i finished that and if you'll see in my my last haul video i actually picked up the manga because i wanted to read more past uh the first season because from what i've been reading on the internet they're either is going to be a season two and they don't know when it's going to be or there isn't going to be season two and i'm edging towards there isn't going to be a season two because it kind of got swept up by a bunch of other shows that came out at the same time so yeah but great pretend or er, not great pretender well yeah great pretender watch great pretender but also watch devil is a part-timer if you haven't watched it it's really good i haven't started reading the manga yet because i've been busy now the third show that i watched was golden kamaway season three and from what I've watched so far, I'm caught up on the dubbed episodes that have been released. I've watched the dub. I, I prefer dubs, in my opinion. It's just, they're easier to watch for me. I don't want any hate from sub watchers, but I prefer dubs. And there's plenty of people that also prefer dubs, so whatever. But yeah, Golden Conway, the anime is really, really freaking good. Season three, what I've watched so far, is amazing season two the ending of season two oh my god the ending of season two uh, i might have to do a video just on gold kamoi by itself the anime by itself it's so good it is so good um yeah i think it's from what i've watched we're at episode 33 which is like episode nine of season three so there's a few more because it's a 12 episode season but yeah golden kamoi season three you haven't started watching golden kamoi highly recommend it and the last show that i watched is uh the castlevania series on netflix i've been interested in it i like when they scroll through netflix it plays like a preview if you're on the screen for a couple for a couple seconds and from the preview it looked pretty interesting but i was like it's netflix sometimes netflix animes have a reputation of being kind of garbage but the castlevania series freaking fantastic the voice acting is phenomenal the animation is really good especially at the in the first episode the flame animation oh man it's so good but yeah castlevania season one it's only four episodes i watched it in an hour season two i haven't started yet but it's like six episodes and season three is i think nine or ten episodes and um from what, from what I've been reading on the internet, season four is probably going to happen, which is good because of what I've watched so far. It is fantastic. So yeah, guys, that is my um, reading log, watching log for the month of February. So if you liked it, leave a like. If you have any suggestions for shows I should watch next month or manga I should read next month, leave that in the comments. And um, like and subscribe. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.